Hi everyone, so we are going to look at Polybar and Rofi today to see how we can combine these two to create a startup menu and also a Dropbox menu. Of course, we are not going into details on how to do a configuration or beautify or de uglyfy the Polybar, make your Polybar fancy, but we are looking going to look at um, to create a module over Polybar. This is straightforward and to make sure that it looks something like this so this is the startup menu that i meant just now so to create this startup menu basically we need to use rofi together with um, polybar of course you can use keyboard shortcut as well for example in my case i bind it to super plus d so i can call up this menu as well Okay, so the reason why I created this menu is that I realized sometimes when people they are using my laptop, they have difficulties in finding all the install software, especially when they are window user. So I created this one, place it at the bottom left corner for their conveniences. Okay. Then I also created this Dropbox menu that actually I can um to start the menu, uh, sorry, the Dropbox or stop the Dropbox. So reason why I'm using this way compared to system tray is that I realize system tray first thing at this moment, you can only place it at the left center or right. You can place it somewhere in the middle. So personally, I would prefer to have my time on the bottom right corner. And secondly, system tray, we I realized that sometimes the icon does not get displayed um, nicely so I doesn't I don't really like all these kind of things so I created this using font or some icon that um, I just assign a action when I click left click on this button I call out this Rofi menu okay so before we proceed we first look at um what we have in polybar configuration first Polybar, okay, right, okay. So, for Dropbox, it would be um quite simple actually. So this is um what is the module, and then this is just the name of the module. So I name it as Dropbox, and you can name it as any name that you like. The type would be custom, and it is a text. So what is the text? The text is um this icon here, and what happened if we click left on this icon so I'm calling a bash uh, basically running a bash file to under this path here okay so we look at what is the, this bash file later uh, now we look at the startup menu so similar with this one um, I name it as menu the type is still text this is basically the icon of this thing here and then what is the color you can define the color and what is the action when you left click on this one what you want to run so basically I want to execute this command here so you can notice the difference between this one and Dropbox is that here we are running Rofi straight away in Dropbox I'm calling a I'm running a bash file before I run the Rofi so difference between these two is that in star menu you can see that when I click on this one I just want to display all the install software but for Dropbox when I click on this one I want to display the option here are the custom one so I actually define what are these uh, options here so instead of um, what are the install apps or software I actually predefine all these options here so that's why we need um, two different way of calling out this Rofi okay so let's just look at how Rofi works first before we proceed further then we look at um, Rofi show basically if you want to show um, all the install software we can also just run this command you can see that um, all these are the install software that I have in my laptop so we can run um, we can run this command here to call up this window and of course if you select any then basically it will launch the software okay then 
we look at um, some other variants here so basically this file that I'm showing here is the file that we have in this path here so let me just go to Dropbox so this is the file that um, I'm showing now so basically every time I click on the icon here I will run execute this file um, this is just a bash file and ARR here is just to define what are the where's that called? Um, option under this menu so I define it to be status and then what is the status so I call a Dropbox CLI status to get what is the status of this um, my Dropbox so you can see that Dropbox CLI status so you can see that Dropbox is not running so it will be shown here of course in my case here I make the dimension to be small so I can't actually see all these things but um, it doesn't really matter because most importantly what I want to know is just to up to date which um, should be able to show correctly here okay so then once we have defined all the options that we want to display then what we do now is just to pass it to the print app here is basically to print out everything in array ARR um, line by line and then here passing all this line here that is already printed out into Rofi using the option D menu and of course the rest will be just to do the configuration the dimension location color and so on okay so we look at um, one by one let's just try this thing see what it actually does right so you can see that okay now we define um, all the array and then to be all these things here then we can also run this thing okay so you see what happens so you can see that it print out all these um, options line by line um, every option is a new line okay so the difference between here and um, what we have in this Dropbox here is that I just put a few more spaces to make it make sure that it is slightly indent um, for me to see that this is something that I can choose this is just the heading okay so formatting is up to your own preference then we look at what happened here if we pass to Rofi D menu right then you can see that now you can actually have this thing here so running a window you have a window and then um, all the options are what we define in ARR array here okay so this is exactly what we are doing over here and of course whatever option or choice that you have already chosen I name it as choice and now minus P here is basically just to rename the D menu here again you can see that on top of here it is being sh uh, displayed as D menu which I don't really like this thing so I want to show it to be Dropbox menu so I can just use dash P and then Dropbox menu then you can see that now it changed to Dropbox menu okay then once we have already done all these things here choice will be the value that you selected after this D menu being prompt up so if the choice is start meaning if I click on this one click at the start enter the choice is now start okay so then this command will be executed after that um, it will exit so you can see that um, basically I can just define all the options that I want of course you can use if else else if and so on to combine them in a just one if statement but um reason I'm using this one is just that because I created one and then I just copy paste for a few times and I'm just being lazy to edit all these things okay so on the proxy part basically is just to set the proxy because um, sometimes I'm using the Dropbox behind a proxy 
So Dropbox CLI proxy, and this is under man manual. HTTP is the mode, and then what is the address, the port, username and password, and so on. So with this file like this, basically, when you execute this file, you can see that you get um, the menu like this here. So for example, um, let me just create this one. Okay, so bash Dropbox, right? So you can see that I can actually call this thing through um, terminal, and this will also be being shown here. Okay, so using this way, I can now combine this thing with the i3 keyboard shortcut to just run this script under this path here. So basically this is on how I create combine Rofi together with polybar um, button or icon. Of course you can use other panel as well. So not necessary polybar, you can com just combine them with the panel that you prefer. Okay, that's all for the Polybar and Rofi. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye.